I'm giving away 10,000 free Robux, and all you guys have got to do is subscribe to the channel, post your cases on, like the video, and comment some nice down to the comment section with your Roblox username. And make sure you're going to do it a couple of times for a good measure, so I actually go out and see it. And last but not least, you want to go ahead and go to the supercodes.com and fill out a form where you guys can go ahead and get some free Robux. Simply go ahead and go to the supercodes.com. It's a website where it has all the latest and greatest Roblox codes and essentially click on the button that says free Robux. Then you guys will be on your way. Go ahead and fill out the Google form, do all the steps, and also make sure you're going to join the group and I'll go ahead and give you guys the Robux. But anyways, here's last video's winner. Congratulations to you, but anyways, let's go and jump right into the video. Guys, so I was on Roblox the other day, looking for a good game to play. Then I got a super suspicious message from Ash Ketchum. If you don't know who Ash Ketchum is, he's the main character inside of the Pokemon franchise, and everybody loves him. But he wanted me to investigate these brand new Pokemon games that are popping up on Roblox, and to actually rank them from worst to best. Watch the videos to the very end to see exactly what these games have to offer, and how to go out and play them. Trust me, it will actually shock you. Yo guys, Shiftry here, welcome back to another banger video, and today, I'm going to be going over the top 5 Pokemon games inside of Roblox. So I have made a video about the top 5 Pokemon servers inside of Minecraft, and I wanted to go ahead and do the same for Roblox. What makes me super mad is doing research for this video wasn't easy because everybody that has made videos always reports on games that don't even work or maybe they are just completely gone from the Roblox system. They were taken down, whatever, but it is kind of annoying that they put them on the list. I'm going to give you guys actual playable games, but if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing with post cases on, like the video, and comment in the nice side of the comment section, and it would be greatly appreciate it if you're wondering what i'm on right now it's super blocky ball and let's jump right into it coming in at number five we have pet fighter simulator this is very similar humans. to pokemon as you can we see the person pets. in the background is talking like most Professor of these pets befriended all people and even became permanent companions to some but the others chose to be evil Suddenly, tons of pets started changing and transforming And as monsters. you can see, it's very similar. So let's go ahead and skip this so we can pick our starter Pokemon. I believe Russo Plays actually made this. I feel like this game should be a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and Sapling, pick the Pokemon. Is a mighty fine choice. Sapling is a good choice. Okay. And we can basically play this game. It's very similar. I do want to showcase the feature. Overall, you get some, like, generic text right here. It tells you everything that you need to know about the game. We can skip all this. So, as you can see, we're in the game right now. And what we can do is we can battle people and other things like that. So, that's basically the whole game and goal of this type of game. And it's not exactly, to be honest with you, this game is more similar to anime fighter simulator where you have all these pets side by side as you can see it's attacking this thing and this thing doesn't fight back so it's not a definitive pokemon game but what i will say is it is pretty close when it comes down to the intro that's what it feels like so anyways oh what the heck is that okay so a tree just spawned in was that like a new pokemon move but basically we're gonna go ahead and jump into the number four spot pet fighter simulator actually does have a lot of features but it does feel like your basic simulator game where you basically click on these and it feels exactly like anime fighter simulator but instead of anime fighters you do have these types of pets so overall i will have to give this the number five spot but it is very similar to pokemon where your pokemon can actually evolve into other things and or your creatures or whatever you want to call it the sapling it'll level up so as you can see i'm going to go ahead and attack this thing real quick so i'll click on it just like that and you can actually capture more which is pretty cool it's a great job whatever and it's definitely a pretty solid game but there's way better ones to offer so let's go ahead and jump into the number four spot coming in at number four we have digomon or digimon or whatever they want to call themselves but it's very similar to pixelmon or just pokemon in general so as you can see we are loading in and the whole goal is to walk around and try not to get captured so imagine playing as pikachu 
and running around. It's kind of like your like sun type of mouse. I don't know. This looks like Mickey Mouse's ears or something. Uh, we keep going around. I'm not 100% sure on how to play this one, but I will have to say, oh, what what is this thing right here? Okay, so we have a new Pokemon. This is like a level one. Can we actually attack this thing? Okay, so that's basically what happens or it just started like getting attacked i don't know necessarily what kind of moves do i have okay this is pretty interesting but you can see it's basically like a whole world of pokemon inside of the wild so the boss spawns somewhere else you can see there's something right here this thing looks kind of scary but as you can see you just basically play as the pokemon and I whoa what is that Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Whoever that is, that's definitely a cool Pokemon-like thing. But, guys, this is probably lower on the list because it's not exactly how we would expect Pokemon to be like. It's more like Pokemon Legends Arceus. But instead of being a trainer, you're actually the Pokemon inside of the wild. But let's go ahead and jump into the number three spot. And number one and two will actually shock you, so definitely stay around. I'm pretty shocked that these games are allowed on Roblox. Coming in at number three, we have Pokemon Roleplay, and this is how they're getting around the copyright. And then the number one and two spot, you definitely want to stay around for that because there's going to be some pretty cool things. Stand on this pad if you want to RP. Okay, I do want to RP, so we're going to stand on this pad and nothing's happening okay so let's go ahead and go here to map and go ahead and click here and now we're actually in the map so this looks very similar to pokemon as you can see the buildings looks very similar and i believe we can actually send out our pokemon if we wanted to this game is kind of a little bit lackluster as you can see we can morph into other things so this is pretty interesting as well actually i don't want to go ahead and do that as you can see, we got a bunch of different Pokemon, like creatures. These aren't necessarily Pokemon, but they're actually very similar. And this is actually going to be the number one spot as well. So these creatures right here, I am going to go ahead and send them out. So it's going to put that away. We can see that we had all of those different creatures. Overall, this is a pretty interesting game, I will say. Especially for the RP aspect, if people just want to go around and play in a pokemon world but number one and number two have a lot more features and i'm actually sad to say that there just isn't a lot of functioning pokemon games but the ones that i do show in this list will be around forever but looking over here i believe we can find just basically like viridian forest this is how this kind of feels like and overall i'm pretty sure you guys would love to go ahead and check out a game like this and as you can see we got a town over here we got a calf and this just feels so similar to pokemon as you guys know how it's all structured the linear design but let's go to jump into the number two spot lumion legacy and this is the game that you're definitely looking for it has puzzles you can actually battle other people, your Pokemon can evolve, and it is made by the same people that made Pokemon Brick Bronze. This game is definitely successful. I am thinking of starting a new game because it's been a while since I actually played this. So instead of having Pokemon, you do have Lumions, and you can basically walk around. So as you can see, I'm here, and what I can do is I can go ahead and talk to this guy and I can start the gym battle or Lumion Tower. I don't know what they call it here. I don't know if they can get away with calling it a gym battle because there may be some copyright issues. But as you can see, it's kind of like an arena, very similar to Pokemon. And I do want to show you the GUI that you have to battle in. So in order to get past this, we do have to go ahead and complete a little bit of a puzzle, which isn't really too hard. But this game is so similar with its cutscene. Like, look how high quality this looks for a Roblox game, and especially being with cutscenes. So let's go ahead and get through this. So we click on here, then we go here, here, and then here nope okay so that's not it this is actually kind of harder than i thought let's try that nope so let's try stepping on this let's go here 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 like this there we go okay so as you can see we just finished the puzzle and now that is going to be gone now all we got to do is battle one of these all i do i gotta say about this game is it feels a little bit slow that's my only complaint this is actually just one of the trainer battles so before you get into it so we can actually click on fight and we can click on send so that's like the attack and the attack is just so different it has like a particle effect which is pretty cool and we're actually fighting a twilight actually like a realistic pokemon i'm not gonna lie 
I wouldn't be shocked if Pokemon actually had it. So we also do have some more mechanics inside of this game, which are going to be a rest function. So as you can see, when I click on fight, you can see that I can wait a turn or I can rest. I don't know why you would want to wait a turn inside of this game, but I guess it adds a little bit more strategy. But that's going to basically wrap it up for the number two spot. If you guys like this game, definitely go ahead and check it out. But let's go to jump into the number one spot. Coming in at number one, we have Doodle World. This world is definitely absolutely insane. And I will have to say it has gained a lot of popularity. I will be dropping a like because this game... Oh, you got to play it first. Forgot about that. That will stop people from botting their own games. That makes sense. So jumping into this is pretty impressive. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the music up. Like, listen to this. It actually sounds like an actual Pokemon game. Like, I just... It literally does. Like, this is insane. And as you can see, it's got text. This is insane, Mom. Look at this. What? The competition to find on the doodle keys. So basically, instead of having gym leaders, you get keys from different leaders. This is absolutely insane, though. Just look at this. And the game just feels so... And you can walk around. Like, this is crazy. Look at the graphics, too. And I believe this game is just going to keep getting updates and they like regions. That would be absolutely insane and just new updates for these types of games. But we need to go ahead and head over to the Pokemon lab, which is going to be right over here. Or I believe so. And you know what's insane about this? Like there's actual cars inside of this game. We can go ahead and check it out. Let's see what's up with this. Yep. As you can see, Dino Kel Professor, we can finally pick our first Doodlemon. So let's go ahead and do it. And just the graphics on this game are just so stunning. So I'm hoping that they fix some of the things from Lumion Legacy. As you can see, it's booting up all the data that you can go ahead and get. And I believe we can choose between three different ones. So we have one, we have this one, and we have this one. So actually, whoa, we have four different options. That's insane. So it's not an electric type, it's a spark type. Instead of being a ground type, it's an earth type. Okay, so this is an ice type. Okay, you know what? That's not a problem being an ice type. And we also have a fire type. So, you know me. I'm going to go ahead and pick the fire type real quick. And I do want to go to see these things in battle. Wait, hold on. Are we battling him? What? No way. What? We're actually battling him himself. This is absolutely insane. So, it does take the same mechanics from fire red, as you can see. So, we can go ahead and click on run. But what we want to go ahead and do, we can switch or we can click on fight. So we do want to hit fight. And we're going to hit it with an attack real quick. So it is a level 2. And we are a level 5. So that was just brutal, honestly. As you can see, we gained XP, 25 XP points. And this is just so... I just love this because it's so similar to the Pokemon games. And you know what's cool about this is the gameplay feels very fast. I feel like I could actually play this game where I can walk around and this is just so cool. So definitely go ahead and pick out your Doodlemon as soon as you get into this game. But enough just yeah, this guy I think he wants to battle or something. I'll, whoa, whoa, he just pushed me out of the way. Yo, that was super, <laughs> yo, I know you guys didn't just see that. He just pushed us out of the way. Hold on guys, we can't end the video just yet. We gotta go ahead and defeat this guy. This is ridiculous. Fight, hit this guy with that attack real quick. As you can see, he has a level 4. So the fighting mechanics are basically the same. They're not doing any damage to us. Let's click on fight again. And Firebolt. That sounds like a cool type of move. I'm not going to lie. Sounds very similar to uh, Pikachu, Thunderbolt. But we'll let it slide. You know, I understand the copyright issues. But let's hit it with a Firebolt real quick. And the difference between Lumion Legacy in this game is there's no weight or rest there's no type of stamina so pokemon can just keep using their moves and as you can see we just leveled up to level six which is nice we gain hp attack defense a mage so this would be like a mage attack and that's how they get around special and things like that and those types of stats so that's definitely pretty interesting here's some of the stats you can change a lot of things about these games i could choose okay you can mute music this is definitely pretty cool and you can change the tech speed to fast Overall, pretty impressed about this. Pretty solid game. And we just leveled up again. What? We're already level 7 in our Vibe Pinber. But anyways, that's going to pretty much wrap today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully you guys were able to find your favorite Pokemon game inside of Roblox. I'll see you guys next time for the next video on Super Shiftry. Bye.